Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about the social experiment, ha ha ha, that I did regarding Johnny Thompson. Now, I'm going to put his photos at the end again of this one because hello, he is eye candy. But let's have a look at what has happened since I did my video on him. Social experiment time, okay? First thing, if you look at any of my videos, the ones that get the most views are the ones where I'm talking about either a celebrity, someone who just died that's famous, or something regarding being materialistic and of this world, dimensional, or society, okay? So let's have a look at what's going on. We have a look now within ourselves and we have to ask ourselves, do we put more onus on who we are or what we look like? Now, I'm the first to say I never get embarrassed by who or what I am because I am self-confident because I have failed so many times in my life that I now know that the only person that matters to is me. I don't put my opinions of who I am and what I am on anybody else, okay? Self-confidence. So, when I look at the feedback that I got on my Johnny Thompson video, someone said, is this woman for real? Hello, yes, I'm for real. I'm a psychic medium. I died in 2001. I only speak what I believe to be my truth. Someone else said, my God, look at the teeth. Now, the first thing I'm going to say here is I've left those comments on there deliberately. So if you do watch this and you want to learn, go and have a look at those comments and put yourself in my shoes. How would you feel if you got someone telling you, oh, my God, I don't like the way you look? Are you personally going to get upset by that? Because I hope and pray you don't. Because the issue is not with you, it's with the person who said it. They're offended. They are opinionated. They are hanging on to their ego where they are only looking at this three-dimensional world and not paying attention or being aware of everything that we are on our inside. So this morning, I just got, I was sitting outside in the sun because we've just had a few days of rain and it's freezing cold here in Brisbane. So I was sitting out in the sun this morning. I looked up and I said, I know you want me to do this Johnny Thompson social experiment video, but I heard wait. And it was only about five minutes later that I get another comment that came up on that video. The comment, I don't care who it's from because there's so many out there who believe in the same social, social emphasis, emphasis of what we put on as importance. This person said, we all know Johnny. Well, if we all knew Johnny, that means 8 billion people would know Johnny and we'd know Johnny. So straight away, let's have a look at what do we put as an importance as what do we put as onus when we say we know someone? And I'm going to admit here, after 57 years on this planet, I'm still working out who I am. So how can we ever say we know someone? And the way that this person said, Oh, well, if you looked at any of the um, uh, ceremonies that he's been at, you'll know who he is. Well, there to me is an ultimatum. Sorry, the way this person said, if you look at this, you will see that. That's like me saying, I'll, I'll be honest, that's an ultimatum. It's an ultimatum. It shows that the person who wrote that is trying to make out they're better than me, okay? They're trying to show their own self-worth 
by saying, oh, no, I'm more important than you are. I'm more valuable than you are because I know more about this man than you do. Well, I'm sure you're not his wife. I'm sure you're not his sister, his mother, his uncle or his brother. I'm sure that this person who commented that has only seen him on TV and not known and spoken to and had a relationship with this person in real life or else they would have put that in the comment, right? So this is where the word if, I don't like it. One of the books that I am thinking about writing is why I hate the word why and hate. And I've also got a video out there, if you go and look at my personal development um, playlist, why I don't like the word if. Because the if makes it an ultimatum, which shows that that person is trying to be superior. They're trying to have more gain, value, more importance than the other person. They're trying to make the other person feel little, belittled. And I don't play those games ever with anybody. And that's why I try to educate everybody on the planet. If you want to live like an angel and you want to go to heaven where it's unconditional love every day, stop behaving like a little brat and start being a true warrior within yourself of being kind, generous, loving and supportive to everybody else. Because it's when we play all these little games of um, ultimatums and trying to be better than the next, it never works out. Karma is a witch with a capital B. And I can't tell you that the, whoever commented that on my video, they, when they do their life review after they die, she has to sit there and question herself, why did on that day when I commented that under the Johnny video on Linda Kramer's videos, why was I trying to make her feel less important than who she is? Why was I trying to make out I was better than her? So stop doing it, guys. Seriously. Seriously, stop doing it. There is no competition. I'm pretty sure I know more about other things than that woman will ever know in her existence. She knows more about other things than me, okay? She may be a frog expert, whereas I'm a ghost expert, which I'll never even say I'm a ghost expert, okay? So don't compete. As soon as we compare ourselves to somebody else, that is so negative. It starts inner battles within our own psyche where we are constantly not living up to the persona of who we want to be. This is how we gain how to be selfish. This is how we gain um, jealousies. This is how we gain being selfish and conceited. So stop it, guys. The more you act like a little brat, the more I'm going to pick you up and give you the love of an angel and teach you how to be a better person ultimately. So when we go to heaven, you already know the power of the love that is there. I'm in all these groups trying to work out <clears throat> what's gone on in the last few years. There's all these ones with reactions. Then I'm in these groups regarding going out and marching and, and being in the park, drawing awareness to what the governments are doing to us. Why the heck can't all these groups admit we're all on the same page? Because it's their ego where the leaders of these individual little groups have to show, oh, I'm in charge. If you go into my videos and you have a look at any of my videos that are called um, Questions About Heaven, have a look how many times I say this is from Peter in Melbourne or Alex in that city or this person in, or L in that city. Because I love giving credit, I love supporting, and most of all, nurturing, educating, being aware, bringing out the best in others is what I strive to do. So why 
do so many now feel compelled to attack, to abuse, to put down and to criticize. This is not the time to do those games because they are games. This century in the two, decade in the 2020s, how many times have we heard we are now going into ascension? If you're bickering, being selfish, conceited, jealous, comparing like a competition, you're not going to ascend. It's not going to work because you're still in lower vibrational states. So this is where we now need to stand up and face the plate. Stand up on that plate with your baseball bat and say, you know what? I'm willing to bat for the universe. I'm not going to bat for me. I'm not going to bat for that group. I'm not going to bat for him or her because I don't compete and I don't have to be in charge. But I'm going to bat for those who we can't see. I'm going to bat and I'm going to hopefully get a home run here for the universe bringing love and light into every single living thing around me. Because this is how we're going to win the war. We don't win the war by battling other people trying to do their best. So stop doing it. Stop doing it. Take your ego out of the equation, guys. And you know what? Look at that video that I did about Johnny. Yes, I was showing eye candy to appreciate, to value, and most of all to bring awareness about what this guy does for his job. But ultimately, look at the video, look at the comments that I got. One lady said, my God, you, this woman's so weird. So I actually called my daughter in and I said, darling, you at school, if someone said to you, your mum's weird, what would you say? And my daughter said, thank you, I know. Thank you. So if you look at the comment, <coughs> my daughter wrote that comment. She's only 16. And she already knows how to appreciate those who are trying to pull me down. We could all learn a big book of, what is it? We could all learn a huge valuable lesson from that one page in my daughter's book. Wow. So I'm grateful I put out that video. And I'm grateful for those who watched it. And I'm going to put the Johnny video, the, the photos again, because hello, the more we actually appreciate and value things, the more we are trying to raise our vibrations, right? But when we have to say, oh, well, if you look at that and then you do that, stop those games. Don't put out ultimatums to people. You are no better than anyone else. We all end up in the same pine box. No one is better than anybody else. There's no competition, guys. So please, just allow others to do what they're doing. Appreciate the work of even the ones that you wouldn't even want to consider doing anything with them. Just appreciate that someone else is out there doing something that you're not. That's what makes us unique. That makes that makes us individuals. And most of all, it makes us passionate about what we want to become in our own futures without caring about what other people think. Because right now around the planet, everyone, oh, there's a lot. I'm not going to say everyone. But there is a lot of people now who put their own self-worth into the hands of others to tell them how good they are. Stop listening to other people. For only you can bring out the best in you. And only you can win this war if you stop being what other people think you should be. And if you do want to be angelic, and if you're striving to be your best, keep watching me because I don't expect anything from you. The only thing I expect from you is that you try your best to be the best version you are. And I mean it. You are the best version. So start living it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. 
Bye.